After 120, the Gemara and Yomah says that there's going to be three different people that come to Deen. Three different people that are going to go to judgment after 120. We'll skip towards the end. One person, he thinks he's going to excuse himself from the Deen and, and the judgment in Shamaim. And he has an excuse. He's going to say, Borei Olam, I couldn't learn Torah. You know why I couldn't learn Torah? Because, look, uh, you know, too much of a Yetzir Hara, you made him good looking, uh, he's speaking about himself, how he's too good looking, and, 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 and he had too many friends, and, and, and all the guys that he's going to think. Shem says, oh yeah, you had a big Yetzir Hara. And in comes to the courtroom, a big Sadiq. And his name is Yosef. And Hashem is going to ask that person, you couldn't learn Torah because you had a Yetzir Hara and all the... Uh, did you have a greater Yetzir Hara than Yosef HaSadiq? Yosef HaSadiq was in a house with Eshet Potiphar for one full year. And the Rish'a tried seducing Yosef three times a day. And she put a sword to his neck and she said, If you don't do the Avera, I'm going to kill you. And he said, you can do whatever you like. And if you don't do the Avera, I'm going to take out your eyes. And he said, Hashem Pukiyah Ibrahim. And if you don't do the Avera, I'm going to break your back. Hashem Matira Surim. And not only never did the Avera, he didn't even look at the Rish'ah, not even one time. Unbelievable. Not even one time. He lived in the house with the lady for a year. He didn't even look at her one time. And Hashem can say, did you have a greater Yetzirah than Yosef HaSadiq? And the obvious question is, well, I'm not Yosef HaSadiq. My father isn't Yaakov Avinu. I'm not one of 12 Shevatim. My mother isn't Rachel Imenu. What are you comparing me to Yosef for? What in the world is the Gemara saying that Yosef is going to come to knock all those people that think they can be excused for not going to have because they're Yetzirah? But they're not Yosef HaSadiq. And Rabbi says that Yosef HaSadiq's test was the hardest test that ever existed on earth. Greater than the Akedat Yitzchak, says in the Shalom. Greater than the Akedat Yitzchak. Yosef's test with Eshet Potiphar. The whole Yetzer Harai, the Bish on Yosef, and wrapped himself around Yosef. Can you imagine the challenge that Yosef had? And he still passed. If he's coming to the deen, that means there's going to be a ta'ana on anyone that doesn't pass their test. He's going to look at somebody else that says they couldn't pass their test with the smartphone, with all these... Uh, Gadgets and, and, and Tum'ah out there. And Yosef's going to say, that was your test? You could have just taken the phone and throw it away. Just put a filter on your computer. To get rid of all that Tum'ah. Delete that contact. Don't go to the board and say, your test, you went to it. My test, Yosef says. It came to me by force three times a day and he still stood against that. That is Yosef Asadiq. That is a great man. Don't think Yosef didn't have a challenge. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.